thanks for joining me today. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about progressive mobility and how important it is for our patients. Um, so the title of my poster is Get Moving, Progressive Mobility in the Neurotrauma Intensive Care Unit. Um, the problem is that acutely ill immobilized patients rapidly decline. Um, they have ICU acquired weakness. Um, it requires increased ventilator days. Um, it increases our risk of uh, VTE and DVT um, and increases the overall length of stay. And unfortunately, whenever they are discharged, they have increased um, dependence or decreased independence um, whenever they are discharged. Okay, neurotrauma patients in particular also have additional barriers um, for safe mobilization. Uh, they usually have mul injuries to multiple systems. A uh, landmark study found that patients discharged from an ICU lose 18% of their body weight, have a decreased six minute walk distance, and that only 49% of these patients will actually return to work by the end of six months after discharge. Um, there's current evidence that reveals safe early mobilization of ICU patients, patients is associated with an increase in delirium for days and a decrease in ventilator days. The purpose of this project was to re-educate our current staff and the new staff on the appropriate use of our available safe lifting equipment um, and to present the evidence that demonstrates the benefits of early mobilization and to provide an evidence-based protocol to safely increase patient mobility early in the ICU stay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. All right. Okay. So our plan is, is to make sure that there's a mobility plan in place for every patient that is admitted to the ICU. Um, we will be using the AACN Progressive Mobility Toolkit um, to guide our unit nurses in their endeavor to increase the mobility of patients in neurotrauma ICU. Um, our uplift coaches will be available to provide reinforcement on the um, use of our safe lifting equipment, the proper use. And during day shift, um, physical therapy is around and they can help us also. Um, this project was based on Lewin's um, change theory. In 1951, Lewin identified the three stages that must happen for change to become a part of the system. Right now, we are frozen. We are frozen in the past. Using we are frozen. Practice. Yeah, we are not using best practice. Um, so, first of all, we need to have an unfreezing stage. Um, that is the time in which there is perceived need for change to occur, and we can all agree that it is time to get our patients more mobile and starting at admission. Um, moving stages occurs when change is initiated. Um, during this time, we will all be working diligently to learn how to use our AACN mobility toolkit and uh, become more competent and confident in our lift equipment skills. Um, we have discussed um, progressive mobility at our last journal club. Um, there was an R I presented an article on um, trauma patients and the benefits of mobility and the decrease in VTE. Um, and then hopefully during our refreezing period, um, our practice will be, a new practice will be set and we will all be more diligent with getting our patients um, more mobile quick, quicker. Um, methods, um, increase staff knowledge of the benefits of progressive mobility um, through evidence-based practice, through our, this poster presentation, journal, journal article discussions at our journal club, and utilization of the AAC and progressive mobility to, toolkit. Um, and overall, our outcome would be to refreeze with the improved knowledge for the healthcare provider on evidence-based practice, increased use of the available safe lifting equipment, and decreasing the potential injury for healthcare, to healthcare provider and to our patients.